So the LEGO Star Wars ATTE Walker has proven to be one of the most popular, if not the most popular set of 2022. And today, I'm gonna ask the question, what if you take two ATTE Walkers and make an ATOT? And yes, I am referring to this ATOT Walker from the now very rare, very expensive Republic dropship with ATOT set. This came out in 2009 for a retail price of $250. If you're a LEGO Star Wars fan or a Clone Wars fan, you know what this set is and what it means to the community. It is a jewel of a set and it still holds up 10 plus years later. So my proposal is if we take two of these walkers, I think it's very possible that we could make an even better ATOT than what came out in 2009 with the parts that come out of these two sets. Now granted, we won't be able to make the Republic drop ship, and then you're also gonna be getting probably extra pieces because I don't think I'll be able to use all the pieces considering we only need eight legs for an ATOT and these two sets would make 12 legs if we actually constructed it that way. So I'm not only excited about making this modernized ATOT walker, but also for the fact that I'm giving you guys an opportunity to win these two ATTE walkers. That's right, there's four sealed ATTEs on the table right now. These two right here are gonna be for a giveaway with our sponsor, Whatnot. So guys, I'm gonna be giving away these two ATTE walkers brand new and sealed on a Whatnot live stream. So down in the description below, you'll find not only a link to the live stream, but you'll be able to enter the giveaway. And that live stream is gonna happen Friday, September 30th at 7 p.m. So make sure you bookmark that stream and tune in. But also down below is a link where you can sign up for Whatnot and get $10 in free credit for your first time purchasing during a Whatnot stream. So I will personally not be selling these because I'm giving these ATTE walkers away, but I'm also selling some Indiana Jones sets that I found in my collection. I've got some Lego Star Wars figures I'm gonna be selling. I've personally found Whatnot to be a really fun way to interact with you guys while also selling all kinds of Lego that I really don't use that much. So make sure you guys sign up to Whatnot down below I am so excited for the giveaway with these sets. And after you guys see the ATOT that I make today, I think you guys will be really excited to be able to get your hands on two ATTEs where you could build the ATOT that I show here. Thanks again to Whatnot, and without ado, let's go ahead and continue. And now on to building this ATOT Walker. Okay, so we're probably at like a halfway point now where I have the base of my ATOT made. Uh, I went ahead and decided to use the same leg design as the new ATTE. And so it would make sense because it would match the newer design of the ATTE and they would look better. And I, th I think most of you would agree that this leg design works. So what I can tell now is that it will be shorter a little bit in its length as well as its height. Uh, which I think is fine. Again, it will match the newer ATTE. But without further ado, let's go ahead and continue building.
So after completing my build, I did notice there was quite a bit of leftover pieces, definitely ample opportunity to build something else or use in your collection. So here it is, this is my custom ATOT using only pieces from two 2022 ATTE walkers. And I have to say, this thing really came out way better than I expected. I was really worried that maybe like the front cockpit area, the legs, something would go wrong, but somehow, this is complete as it gets in my eyes for what you would think a modern day ATOT to look like. It matches the same style and aesthetic as the new ATTE. It has functionality like a uh, opening front cockpit that is very similar to the 2009 ATOT. I mean, it, it, it just gets better and better. And then there's a carrying handle and this thing is actually stable and acts like the old ATOT as well as the new ATTE. And of course, you have to have the loading ramp for all your clone troopers. That is a necessity, <laughs> and we have that. Uh, the turrets are all here. Like, wow, did this thing turn out well? I, I'm shocked. I really am. Like, little, little things, like, just worked out perfectly. Uh, and you'll see there's even one bigger thing that worked out even better here in just a few minutes. There is one thing that I wasn't able to match with the 2009 ATOT, which is there is 16 seats, including the cockpit. And with the 2009 version, there is 17 seats. So I am one seat short. Now, you probably could fit another clone trooper somewhere in this area, but I wanted ample space for all my troopers to at least hold weapons as well. Here's what that looks like with 212 clone troopers from the ATTE sets filling all of the seats. I think it looks really good. It really, it doesn't look wonky. It doesn't look weird. And uh, it actually matches, I think, the size of the ATTE. I don't know the in-universe scale of the ATOT to the ATTE. I don't know if the ATOT is supposed to be a lot larger than the ATTE. But from what I remember from Revenge of the Sith, when you briefly see the ATOT, this seems about the right scale. Granted, it probably doesn't hold like the lore accurate amount of clone troopers, but it does again match the 2009 ATOT in that regard. The 2009 version, as you can see, is a lot larger, uh, much, much larger. But again, we're talking about scalability to the newer ATTE, not to the old ATOT. And I also included one extra feature here. So some of you might have noticed that I did use a very specific handle. And if you look even closer, I designed a system almost exactly the same as the 2009 ATOT. And while I thought I needed to include the functionality of the front head turning upwards in order for the Republic dropship to work, turns out, and this is pretty sweet, that it does work perfectly. Like, look, look at that. It is perfect. I did not design the ATOT this way. It just so happened to absolutely be perfect in terms of size to work with the 2009 drop ship, which is really cool that there is backwards compatibility with my new design here. So, I mean, <laughs> honestly, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that that works. If you take two ATTEs, personally, I think you can make a pretty good looking ATOT out of it. And honestly, there was a ton of extra parts left over. There's probably enough to make some type of droid cannon. Obviously, battle droids come in the ATTE set, so it would make sense to also make some type of droid vehicle. And there was still plenty of parts there that I probably could have put something together. The one thing that I didn't really have from the ATTE sets was dark red angled wedge pieces on the original design. You can see they're using that here. I didn't have anything like that, so I had to just use tiles and plates, and I think it still works. But if I went in and added some of my own parts, that would be the first thing that I would do. Other than that, I feel like this is a pretty complete ATOT. Granted, it is smaller than the uh, 2009 version, but it's in the same scale range as the newer ATTE, so I find that to be good, so that way it can blend in with all your ATTE walkers. So this was a very fun experiment. Granted, it took me about six and a half hours to design this ATOT. It was well worth it. I am blown away that I was actually able to build something like this. I'm kind of shocked with myself a little bit that it actually looks like an ATOT. I, th I thought it was at least gonna look a little wonky, there's gonna be stability issues, but nope, this thing functions exactly like 
you'd think an ATOT would in 2022. Well, let me know what you guys think about this design down below. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. Again, if you wanna win those two free ATTE walkers, make sure you click the link down in the description, join Whatnot, get your free $10, and don't forget to join me on that live stream. Again, all that information will be down below. This was an absolute blast. I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.